Thank you, Nicholas. Tonight, we are getting a glimpse of the future of the old General Electric campus south of downtown Fort Wayne. Community leaders are back home after visiting North Carolina to tour the American Tobacco Campus. It's a model for the GE redevelopment project. New Channel 15's Angelica Robinson caught up with some of them shortly after they landed in Fort Wayne, and she joins us now with more on that. Angelica. Brett and Heather, the development of the American Tobacco Campus brought new life to downtown Durham. I'm told there was once 500 people living downtown. Now there are 16,000. That kind of growth is what city leaders hope to see happen here. From sun up to sun down. Very energetic, lots of people walking around um, at all hours. The American Tobacco Campus, once deserted, is now booming perhaps an indication of what's to come. Well, you can see the future of the GE building there with that kind of development, with that kind of uh, inspiration. The American Tobacco Company closed in 1987, sitting vacant for more than 20 years, slowly deteriorating. Imagine an old tobacco factory that at one time had trees growing up through it and SWAT practice from what I understand going through it. GE and the American Tobacco Company are similar in size and the history of the two are parallel. That's why it serves as a model for the redevelopment of GE. They took bold new initiatives, made decisions that weren't popular with everybody in the public and followed through with them and now they're having a total success. Early 2000s, a developer invested $200 million into the project, bringing restaurants, shops, educational services and more. It's near Duke University, which also helped the area thrive. I think working at a university, I see that as, a, as an important role that we can play. The developer Cross Street Partners will buy the GE campus and spend $300 million transforming it into a mixed-use facility. After seeing the potential for the campus firsthand, city leaders say they have work to do. Work to inspire our neighborhoods, our community, that we can, ask, we can definitely do this kind of project. If you'd like to see more pictures of the American tobacco companies from the tour, head over to our gallery on Wayne.com. In studio, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.